so she That's so juicy, man. Mm. But I want to talk about something. Just life in general. Like always. Because I be deep in my thoughts and shit by myself. I can think about it as life. There's gotta be something greater out here, bro. Something better. But before, I look black as shit, bro. I watched a couple TikToks before I came out here. And I was watching this video of this guy. He best went his whole life. Be, not being himself, bro. And this nigga uh, was 50 years old and decided to become a drag. Not saying I'm not saying it's bad or anything. I'm saying like I wish people, I wish everybody had the courage to be themselves. You try to go your whole life impressing other people, you're gonna be miserable as shit. You're gonna be miserable. You gonna you going your whole life. Not being yourself. I know it's hard. Family gonna judge you. Friends gonna judge you. I'm so glad I am. I'm who I am, bro. Cause I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I love me. I love my personality. I love myself. And I can give two shits about what a person got said about me. I'm sure people talk shit all the time. I don't give a fuck. That, that's all you gotta do is not give a fuck. If you stop giving a fuck about what people think about you, watch how much your life will improve. People try to keep up with their image, not being themselves, and start getting lost in their sauce. You start getting comfortable with that damn image. Then you go home, you're like, bruh, that's not who I am. Nigga, it's your fault. Be your fucking self. Niggas gonna talk shit about you regardless. Regardless of what you do, people gonna talk shit about you. Might as well be happy, bro. People gonna do shit anyway. I just hope everybody's being themselves, but don't do shit that you don't wanna do. Don't feel like you're obligated to do anything. You're not obligated to do a fucking thing that you, if you don't wanna do it. Are so nasty, bro. What what is this? Cantaloupe? I don't like it. Life is too short to be miserable. Be yourself always. Don't do anything you don't want to do. Don't be with anybody you don't want to be with. Because like I said, you're not obligated to do anything you don't want to do. working on yourself. Make sure your happiness comes first before anybody. At the end of the day, all, all you got is yourself. I had to learn that shit. All you got is yourself at the end of the day. Damn, I'm dropping the fruit. All you got is yourself at the end of the day, bro. Yeah, I know I yeah, I know I got. Now, yeah, I know I got my dragon. Come on. Yeah, I know I got my dragon. I can't get those readings out of my mind. It's just like, it's crazy how accurate they were and the shit that they brought up. I was like, how the fuck did you even know this shit? Like, you Nardwar, <laughs> you fucking Nardwar. But these niggas are psychic, but they know shit. They know shit. It is crazy. Like literally all four of them. All four of them knew. 
and like it was so accurate, bro. Like it is scary. Got a reading today, bro. If y'all know what that is, like psychic type shit. <clears throat> I got a reading today, and I heard, and everything they said to me is what I what I already I already knew, but like. What they was telling me, and like three different people. These are from three different people, three different psychics, whatever. And they was telling me basically the same shit, just in different wording. I was like, "Oh, like, bro, I already knew. I already knew." But like having somebody else say it, and then they said shit that made it make so much sense. I'm so glad I did a reading, bro. A lot of people don't believe in that shit, but I do. And then a lot of shit they said, without me even telling them a story or like talking to them about something specific, they already knew what the fuck I was talking about, bro. And they was so point, like so accurate, it was crazy. I don't get into detail what it was about. It was really for like the future, for my future type shit, and like some other shit I'm not really I'm not gonna get into. even looked up the showtime bro i really can go see spider-man right now but i don't know but it sounds good as hell bro i've had this shit in so long Leave it at the house. I wish I, I just want everybody to be happy within themselves. Because nowadays it seems like happiness is so rare. For a lot of people. I used to struggle so much to be happy. I'm talking about struggle bad. But now. Like I used to be so suicidal. I, I don't remember the last time I had a suicidal thought. It's been a minute since I had one. And all I had to do was find myself. All I had to do was be happy within myself. I was over here trying to look for happiness in another person or being around other people. And all I had to do was looking within myself. That's all I had to do, literally. Damn, y'all heard that? I don't know if y'all heard that on my damn stomach. damn dog up god damn damn i put the whole thing out bro i got a story to tell bro so Bro, can you get the fuck out? So, these are two different girls I'm gonna talk about. The first girl. So she hit me up on Snapchat or whatever. I don't know how the fuck she got my Snap uh, anyway. Cause it said, added by username, so somebody must have talking about me or some shit. And I added her back, whatever. She texted me, she was like, uh, so I heard you're single, blah, blah, blah. I was like, uh-huh. Literally type, uh-huh. And then she was like, well, I've been liking you for a while, blah, blah, blah. 
you said I've been like you for a while. Uh, are you back in Mississippi? And do you want to hang or do you want to hang or blah, 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 whatever? I will put the messages up here, but she blocked me, bro. Because all I said, this is what I said. I'm not looking for nothing. I don't want nothing. No, I don't want to take you on a date. No, I'm just chilling. I, I said a whole bunch of shit, like just a bunch of no, no, no. And this is like, I wasted my time. Blah, blah. You sure did? You wasted the fuck out your time, ma'am. You sure the fuck did? You sure the fuck did? But then the second girl, also nice to the second girl, like, she called me. She was like, like she uh, hit me up on Snap too. She was already on my Snap. And I posted a picture of uh, some, I posted some damn meme or something. And she was like, this is so funny. I was like, I know, right? LOL. Lame ass conversation. She was like, then two hours later, she hit me up. She was like, you seem like a funny person to be around. I said, yeah. Uh, I said, yeah, I'm pretty cool or whatever. And then she was like, do you want to hang out? Do you want to smoke? Do you want to drink? We can go to this. We can go to this bar. We can go to this club. Mm -mm. Nah, that's not really my type of type of shit to do because it's not. I don't like that type of shit. I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't go to clubs, I don't do nothing. I don't do nothing. And she was like, she's like, maybe next time then. I said, don't even waste your I was like, don't even waste your time because I doubt it's gonna be a next time. I said, I doubt, uh, I'm like, I, I'm, I doubt it's gonna be, I said, I doubt it's gonna be anytime soon or some shit like that. And she was like, she was like, um, you don't have to be an asshole about it. That's literally that, I, like, you don't have to be an asshole about it. I said, I, ain't, I don't even think I said anything back. I just blocked her. I probably just said okay and I blocked her. Cause bro, how am I, how is that being an asshole, bro? This is the second, the second person that's called me an asshole just because I don't want to fuck with her. Like, at this point, nobody's getting a fucking chance because y'all niggas ain't patient. Literally, I'm literally healing right now and working on myself. And y'all niggas getting mad. Yo, y'all are weird, bro. If somebody reject you, y'all get mad. <laughs> y'all get mad and want to call people out their name and shit. Like, bro, you know who you're talking to. You know I don't give a fuck. And, like, how you gonna... Bro, get the fuck... It's a damn loss. But... Get your bitch ass on, dude. Literally, I don't want to fuck with nobody, bro. I said this in like every single one of my videos. Like, I show no signs of wanting to fuck with people because I don't. People are weird, bro. I just want to be by myself. I'm chilling. It's some shit I wish I could change, but like, bro, I can't, can't depend. Like, I can't, if I can't change it, I ain't gonna worry about it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just saying, fuck it. I probably got shit on my face. I can't tell because it's dark. But. Fuck it, bro. I don't give a shit. Bye. Bye. Not put your forces on. But I'm not even where I want to be at right now, but I'm not worried about no fucking relationship, nigga. Doing life, man. It's your, it's literally, it's literally your life. You're the main character in your story. I hope y'all taking care of yourself. Y'all loving each other, loving yourselves, bro. Especially love yourself. Um, make sure y'all take care of yourself, man. I hope y'all doing okay. Staying positive. I'm gonna catch y'all in this video. Make sure I stay positive. I love each other. Boop. Catch y'all in this video, bro. Stay positive. Love each other. Love your freaking selves, man. Peace.